up your hand scanner. I bet you'll find plenty here to catalog. Captain, do you require my assistance? facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. At least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. they're not going to need it anymore.
time. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But be quiet. What do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Oh, I've been better. But I think bleeding out is at least off the table. What I really need, though, is someone who knows their way around a weapon. So, if you wanted to tell me, I'm heavy infantry and I've come to bring you the gift of ordinance, I wouldn't mind in the least. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. Other than a remorseless killing machine. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock. Or toys. <laughs> they're creatures without peer. Theramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant's security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. And there were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. 
Then we can see about getting things back online. Admin access is centralized to the terminal in this room. Nothing's coming back online if I'm not here. But even if that weren't the case, I'd likely be more of a liability out there than a help right now. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Nicely
last one. Find anything useful? Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. Wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5.
trackers reading green. What's that sound? Security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing and get in cover. It's on the move.
What can I help you with? Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. She absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Yeah, you know, being alone in interstellar space, nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Don't worry, there's no bad blood between us. The worst that might happen is you get stuck listening to two old friends catching up on old times. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Arja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well... <laughs> That's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, 
I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. I'm listening. Ask whatever you'd like. Bye. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Evans above, you just flatlined a terror morph! I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? A lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on a ship. Then, we could start getting some answers about this thing. So, did you manage to nab one? Spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Flags can spectrograph. Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But Terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, Terramorphs tend to just appear. 
No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. They have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. There is. There has to be. We just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was, long time ago, family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him. But last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. The Martian Trade Authority is where I'd start your hunt for Percival. After you get clearance, of course. Or did you need something from me? Percival and I worked together for years. He was an alien researcher like me. A scintillating mind, but not what you'd call a people person. 
What he's doing working for an organization with other human beings, like the Authority, is anyone's guess. But if there's anyone who will be able to tell us definitively if that sample is trouble or not, it's him. Courier handed me a slate. Guess someone had picked up a strange signal on a flyby? Thought I might want to check it out. Presumably the same person reported the disturbance to the Vanguard. Never did end up getting their name, though. Was my job to know all the nasty critters of the universe for a while. Terramorphs included. I don't do it professionally anymore, though. Hmm? Hope you're ready to die.
Don't rush the scan. Wouldn't want to overlook anything valuable. fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Captain, greetings. Jake's. 